actually most of the training is based off of the results of um, the the inside um, mm. power protocol testing that they do. So that's uh, you know um, I do a, a field test to try to get an accurate measure of my VO2 max and my VOA max and my anaerobic threshold, um, fat max, carb max, all that stuff. And we try to um, gear the training to uh, balance those those metrics as best we can, um, you know, with the goal of having the right type of fitness for events like Unbound and Gravel Worlds, which are the which are, are, are definitely the, um, the biggest fish on my calendar. How do you guys balance the, you obviously have to be able to ride really far, but I think it's fair to say you also have to go pretty darn hard if you want to be at the front of the race. So how do you, how do you see that for yourself? Like, you know, do you love long rides? You just sprinkle in some intensity through the workouts that you guys do with inside or like, how does that balance happen? Cause it's, probably pretty tricky yeah uh really good question um this year i got started a little bit later on my uh my big training block not until really like the second week of january um so i what tim ended up having me do was about a six week build of almost all base miles in sort of that mid zone to upper zone two so about you know in the neighborhood of like 60 percent of of uh, functional threshold. I was doing maybe 20 to 22 hours a week at that pace. Um, maybe one workout a week, I would do some like sort of a light VO2 set just to sort of um, open up that system, I guess, but not really, not like a full gas, you know, 30 minute, 20, 20 or 30 minutes at VO2. This is more like, uh, you know, 10 or 12 minutes at, mm. at VO2 and sort of like a one on one off style of set. Um, and I was also doing two days a week in the weight room, mm. but really it was just like almost, almost exclusively just that endurance pace. And, and I'm, um, you know, really trying to be focused about hitting the middle of that zone for as long as possible and keeping a, you know, steady cadence over 90 RPMs. For the whole time really just to um i mean the goal of that is you know I, obviously it increases your endurance doing big you know four four or five hour rides back to back is um a great way to train for for the really long races without you know putting yourself in so much debt that you can't recover in in a reasonable amount of time um, but it also is a good way to to boost your vo2 max and my best understanding of that is by um, increasing mitochondrial density with the, uh, you know, the, the long hours at, at that endurance pace, or like some people call it aerobic threshold. Um, you'll, you're, you're sort of teaching yourself to be a fat burner and that, that also somehow helps just increase your aerobic capacity overall. Um, so without doing a lot of really high intensity stuff, I think I did get a, a pretty decent boost in my VO2 max compared to where I was in the off season.